Nationals is nationals, right? It's the NCAA championships. You could roll a mat out in a cornfield in the middle of anywhere, and, and it's, it's got the lure and the luster because you're chasing down that, that dream of a, being an NCAA champion. This year it was held you know, in Park City, Kansas, just outside of Wichita. Um, you know, it's coming off the heels of us hosting you know, in Cedar Rapids, which you know, we can never get away with how much people love you know, when we host in Cedar Rapids. But I, I think Park City and I think the NCA, I think they did a pretty good job with the facilities they were working with. Um, we stayed in, you know, great hotels, plenty of food options. Um, our transportation was, was, you know, awesome. You know, Coach Rotes got us a suite, you know, um, Mercedes-Benz uh, conversion van to take down there, you know, so we were riding in style, feeling pretty good about ourselves. Um, but I think the locale and the logistics and everything was, was, was pretty well set up. Yeah, you know, we had two guys that got through the super region, um, you know, Chase, you know, being a region champion, um, you know, that's that's no small potatoes, that's a big thing, you know, so for him to do that again in his career, that's outstanding, uh, you know, and Tate uh, punching this ticket, you know, winning that third place match um, on the backside against the kid from St. Cloud, who's actually from Wichita, Kansas, you know, so that kid had a lot of, you know, personal game at stake there. and. So for Tate to come through like he always has um, and get to the national tournament, you know, for the fourth time in his career, just like Chase, uh, that said a lot just getting there. And then, you know, then you kind of get to take the stress and the pressure off and you get to let your God-given abilities, you know, shine through. And uh, both those guys uh, work their butts off. They're physically and mentally prepared. Um, they had a great season, you know, mentally and physically. Tate uh, finished, uh, you know, as an All-American for the third time. You know, so you qualify four times, you place three times. That's that's you're in some pretty rare air. <clears throat> um, you know, Tate uh, for the first time too in his career got to the national semifinals. So you know, day one, you know, is is about becoming an All-American, a top eight guy, and to be on the right side of the the bracket, you have to be on the championship side when you wake up Saturday morning. There's no better feeling to know that you're wrestling, you know, for a spot in the NCAA finals. Um, you know, he finished fifth, um, didn't quite get everything he wanted, but you know, that's our sport. Um, it comes with the territory. Uh, when you sign up for it, you sign up for all of it. And uh, you know, for him to respond with an odd number finish, getting fifth the last two times, he had an even number, which meant he lost his last match, you know, his placing matches. So for him to win that one in a dominant fashion. Uh, kind of implying his will and the way he does business on top. That was just kind of, um, you know, you know, poetic on how that finished. So Chase, um, you know, obviously we had huge expectations. You know, he, he had huge expectations. You know, you're the defending NCAA champion. You're a regional champion. Um, you know, you're the two seed at the at the national tournament. Um, you know, so, so not only was he just wrestling another tournament, he was wrestling with those, um, you know, expectations and that, that weight a little bit. And I thought he did a fantastic job. He really kept himself balanced, um, not too high, not too low, um, not too tight, not too loose. Uh, he did a fantastic job. And we actually saw Chase really start to wrestle his best um, that he had all year. Um, the way he finished out that regional tournament, winning that title, and then getting himself to the national semifinals, um, looking great, and then having to wrestle a guy that he lost to earlier um, was just gonna kind of reinforce what we were believing that he was at top of his game. And sure enough, on Saturday morning, national semifinals, you know, Chase goes out there and gets the job done, uh, um, beating the, the wrestler from McKendry that gave him a loss earlier in the year so he could punch his ticket to, to defend that national championship. Um, obviously, Saturday night didn't go quite the way we wanted it, right? He lost 8-6. Um, you know, he didn't wrestle his best match, and he'll tell you that. Um, but, but overall, it's really, that's not where we're at. You know, at this stage of it, we're reflecting back on the celebration of it. You're a two-time NCAA finalist. 
you know, let that sink in a little bit. Um, not a lot of people do that. And for him to get to that finals match twice, to win it once, to also earn another All-American ship in his career and be a three-time All-American, a four-time NCAA um, tournament, um, you know, qualifier, uh, he's in some pretty rare air there. So uh, couldn't be more proud uh, of those guys. You know, they were represented not only themselves, but our brand of wrestling. Um, they really um, carried the torch for us there at, at the end of the season. You know, so you lose those seniors. Um, it's kind of then about flipping the page, right? Turning the page onto the next chapter of Upper Iowa wrestling. Um, you know, it's not just those two guys. We lost, you know, a handful of other seniors. Um, and, and it's tough, you know, to lose that, what you know. But you also, you don't know what you don't know. And we got some kids in the room that are, that are pretty good. Um, and we're expecting big things out of them. Obviously, we're recruiting hard. And we got a good class coming in. Um, you know, now in today's age, you know, um, recruiting never stops. And so uh, we feel like we're getting some pieces in place. Uh, we got some great guys coming back that have been to the national tournament. You know, James Davis qualified for the NSA championships a couple of years ago. Um, obviously, Coulter Bay was an All-American for us last year. Um, you know, so it's, it, you got some guys that have tournament experience returning, and then you got some guys knocking out the door, guys that have been nationally ranked, guys that have been, you know, um, a takedown away from qualifying, stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just as exciting uh, for me because, hey, it's, it's next man up. It's somebody else's opportunity to start leaving their, their legacy in a little more of a prominent um, uh, and noticeable way. So pretty excited about where we're heading.